Hi everybody, I have a tutorial for you on how to export individual tracks, multi-tracks um, from GarageBand and this is also known as stems or it can be called trackouts and this is if you want to get all these individual tracks as single files so you can uh, put them into a different digital audio workstation or send them to somebody else. Um, GarageBand doesn't really have a feature to do this but there's a fairly easy way to do it. Um, and I have uh, been sent this file from a client who's coming into the studio to record vocals tonight and they have some guitars so I actually sequence this drum track for them you can see those two rings means that's a stereo file if there's nothing on it, it means it's a mono file um, so we've got a stereo drum file stereo bass looks like they've mic'd that bass or they've used a DI or something like that and then they've got guitar solos and I um, want to get all of these files the same length um, because if I go here's the here's the file here if I go show package contents this is the, the garage band um, session then I can see in the media and audio files these are these are actually these audio files but look they're all different sizes which means they're going to be different lengths and they're not going to match up um, if I drag them in and it's going to take forever if it you know if you ever do it to put to match them up by ear so this is a quick easy way of exporting um, stems so what you want to do is you want to only hear one track at a time so I'm just going to mute all the tracks I have a quick listen to what's on this track so that's a guitar now this is very important pan it to the center and bring the volume up to unity which is 0 dB and you actually should do this just for every track so there we go unity I could type it in but I'm being lazy here we go this might be quicker zero zero it is much easier zero we'll put them back in the center as well okay um, all I need to do is click on this bar up here and drag to give me a loop range and this is important because this is going to stay the same um, you want it to be yellow and you want it to be all the way to the left which is zero and then all we have to do from here um, if you've got any effects on there that you don't want on there you can disengage them um, but for this instance they they want whatever they've got on there so like if you had some reverbs or whatever on the track that you didn't want to export um, and get rid of that and now all we do is go to the file menu share and go export to disk and then we're going to select uh, this song is called new skin so I'm gonna make a new folder on my desktop and call it new skin stems there we are and then this is guitar one and I want to select WAV files, 24-bit uncompressed. Um, if it was recorded in 16-bit, then you would obviously use 16-bit. If you don't know, it doesn't really matter which one you select. I'd go. I'd, if you don't know, I'd just go to the 24-bit. You get a larger file, but if it was recorded in 24-bit, you keep the full audio fidelity. So that's going to export the range of that yellow loop bar there. And now I have. I will have a stereo file of that even though it's a mono file but that's fine I'll show you when you drag that into a digital audio workstation it doesn't really matter um, I usually keep mental track of which ones are stereo and mono um, and then I'm just gonna go through each track because they're all centered and they're all at unity and then I'm just gonna go share export to disk and I'm gonna call this guitar 2 and do the same thing All right, I'm just going to do exactly the same thing for all of these one, two, three, four other files, and then I'll uh, come back to you. Okay, that's all done, and here is my folder with my stems, and we'll see there that they're all the same size, which is great. That's what we want. They're all the same size, which means they're all the same length because they're all the same sample rate, the same bit depth. So I've just created a blank Pro Tools session um, you can use, it doesn't really matter what program you use, I'm using Pro Tools to record the vocals tonight in the studio, so that's why you can do this into any digital audio workstation, Logic, Studio One, 
Cubase, Fruity Loops, whatever your flavor is. So I'm going to import these by going File, Import, Audio. And there they are. I'm going to add them to my session. And done. I'm going to pop them on the clip list because some of them were mono and some of them were stereo. So, um, but when I render them all out of GarageBand, they all become stereo. So for the drums, I do want a stereo file because I know that the drums are in stereo. Now for everything else, I can just use mono tracks. So this is the best way to do it. I'm going to create a new track make it, uh, I'm going to create two mono audio tracks and then when I grab, let's say the bass is next, see how it brings it in and it splits that left and right up onto two tracks so I only need the mono version of it, I don't need the stereo so I can just delete that second mono track right there um, and then I can do the same if I, I've got one, two, three, I've got five more. So I'll create 10 mono tracks. And then it's just a process of, I've got the rhythm guitar there. Um, I've got the second rhythm guitar. I've got guitar solo, one, two, and three. And then I'm just going to go through and delete each of these that I don't need because they're all mono and it's just duplicated up it's taking up more room than I require um, that's just I don't know exactly how you do this in other doors but there'd probably be a pretty easy way let's have a listen to see if this is lined up um, I'm just gonna make sure you can actually hear this because you are listening to the line output. Let's have a listen. That sounds like it's all lined up. So that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen, exporting stems from GarageBand. If you have any questions uh, or you need me to clarify anything, make sure you uh, pop in a comment and uh, if you found this content valuable, you can like or subscribe or um, go and get some free uh, tracks from my website or whatever you want. Thanks a lot. See ya.